What up guys, Deep3 here, back again with another Deep3 Reviews, and this is going to be 2024 Upper Deck Flare Marvel. Uh, haven't ripped in a while, as you know. Gotta get rid of the nasty taste of contenders I just ripped, and this is the product I want to rip next. Why? It looked fun, the art looks amazing, and it is a nostalgia throwback to the cards back in the 1990s. Um, checklist will be put in the description as usual. And uh, yeah, let's get into the product. So we've got four cards per pack, 12 packs per box, so that a lot of fun to rip there. One specialty card uh, insert per pack, new and premium inserts. You can also can pause here if you need to see this stuff for the odds, lots of inserts. You can hit one of ones, there's numbered cards in here. And honestly, I've seen some of the sales on the uh, lower numbered stuff and there's some ceiling potential here. You hit a number to 15, a number to 5, that looks like 3000 bucks right there from the uh, last solds that I've been seeing at least. So, pretty impressed with that. So, I thought why not try it myself and either way, I like Marvel a lot. I've been a Mar Marvel fan for a very long time, read comics as a kid. So, even if I don't do so well on this box, at least I don't feel bad about it. And, be even better, the box isn't that expensive. It's like right, right around uh, 250 uh, at release, so definitely don't feel bad about this product at all. You can find it for around 250 to 300 currently as of this recording. So, uh, Mystique there, Galactus there, Wolverine there. Uh, we have a lot of artists, specialty artists. Uh, I could name them, but none of us know who they are anymore. I feel like the artists back then mattered more back then. Um, but some of them are Ty Romsa, Joel Holtzman, Oliver Harbour, Todd Nick, Knocked, and many more. You get autographed cards, artist art autograph cards, and one of ones, uh, pins, and inserts, and the chase cards are going to be badge flare, acrylic ether, splintered facade, iridescence, pin flare, carved, and uh, autos. Box hits on average, power blast, canonical blast, solar flare. Those are going to be pretty common in those in these packs. So, um. Favorite superhero? Growing up, it was Wolverine. Now it's probably Spider-Man. Probably Spider-Man was one of my favorites growing up too. So Wolverine, Spider-Man. So let's see if we can pull some of those. That'd be nice. I was also a big fan of Omega Red growing up. I don't know why. Probably from the video games. But here's the design. Black Bolt right there. So nice little uh, font there at the bottom. Paper stock, 35 point, I think. Yeah, a thick 35 point. And here's the back design. Just a little information about the hero, uh, the artist, all that good stuff. So we got Mighty Thor, Lady Thor. Domino for the Power Blast insert. So these are not going to be that rare, but they are hollow. And a Throg. Cool. Cool, cool. If there's anything crazy in here that I'm missing from the hit, let me know in the comments down below. I did my best to look up the information, but it doesn't seem like anyone knows anything on YouTube right now about this product, in detail at least. And then the checklists aren't that helpful for the rarity other than the numbered cards. It's, it's kind of silly, honestly. But it's a 90 card set, so we'll see. Oh, Iron Man would be nice too. Colossus, very cool. Craven. And we got something shiny back there, so we'll go to the back. We got a Flarium of the Avengers. Quicksilver there, Scarlet, Witch, and uh, Hawkeye. That's a cool one. I'll go in my binder. And we got a, what's this? Canonical Blast, She Hulk. So yeah, another one of those inserts is going to be pretty common that we're seeing. The one per pack. Next one. Ooh, Carnage. Hercules. From the back we got... Spider-Man, very cool. I like that. And a solar flare is going to be Shang-Chi. Where's the sequel to this movie already? Like, come on. Not numbered. 
So far, quality of the cards look pretty good. I just don't want to see soft corners on like the numbered cards. I don't mind if it's on the base cards. But the art is fantastic. We've got Kang. Doctor Strange, that's cool. Ooh, Iridescence. That's one of the chase hit cards. Chase hits. Wolverine, wow. That is an ugly Wolverine. <laughs> but we got him. FT2. Sure. And Iridescence. This is a case hit, huh? Who's it going to be? That is a Daredevil. Wow. That's cool. Not the biggest Daredevil fan. Watch the movie. Watch the She-Hulk. But wow, it's really cool to be able to show this to you guys. So that is one of the case hit chase cards. Nice. We're not gonna complain there. Could have been someone else. But uh, you know, I'm happy. He looks cool. Maybe we'll even send it to grading. Let me know in the comments. Should I send that to grading? Iridescence of a daredevil. Blind blind lawyer. The type of lawyer who doesn't lie. It doesn't sound, it sounds like a co comic to me. Iceman. Electra. From the back. Thor. Even though it should be an Ultron card, I feel like. It says Thor, but it should be an Ultron card, honestly. Solar Flare. Invisible Woman. Not so invisible. Oh, that roller mark line down the left shoulder blade there. That's kind of intense. Not a numbered card in sight yet. We got a case hit though. Maybe there's some more heat in here. We got Sprite. Silver Surfer, another cool character. Uh, canonical Blasts of Jean Grey, Phoenix. And Cap, Captain America. That punching justice. Oh baby, what that shield do? Okay, next one. These packs are a little bit thin. They could have put more cards in a single pack. <laughs> Reduce the plastic usage. We got uh, Percy. Percy, that's what I'm doing right now. Phoenix. This looks like a numbered card. It looks like a fall, which would be the highest number. Bucky Barnes there. Be a good one. Oh, okay. Green Goblin numbered 85 of 299. Not my favorite character. This is going to be the fall one, though, for sure. It's brown. It's how you know, I guess. It's that doo-doo brown. Creepy clown. He looks like a clown. He's creepy. I'm not a... This card feels thick. Feels like something in here. It feels like another chase hit to me. Oh, maybe it is. Oh. What? It's Cable. <laughs> Badge Flare. And it is another one of the case hits. Why is it in the same box? And then a Daredevil. Wow, that's a cool patch. Uh, that would not gem. That would not grade at all. Well, but that is very cool. Looks like they printed something on a carpet or a rug or something. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll look at the odds of like these hits at the end because see, like I'm looking at the website for the case hits. Why would they have an iridescent case hit and a badge case hit in the same box. I find that to be quite unlikely. So maybe the odds of hitting are a lot higher than we think. 
But I mean, maybe we're just lucky. Maybe we have we have just a cracked box. But at the same time, you know, not the biggest names. Ooh, that's Black Knight. I know that guy. We've got Emma Frost. Wanna build a snowman? Jessica Jones, Solar Flare. And the Fantastic Four. That's a cool one. The Flarium. Squad Goals. Down to our last three packs. And then we'll check out the uh, odds. Real quick. How did we do? Taskmaster. Doing a Karate Kick. The Thing. He's a Thing. Solar Flare of Wolverine. Now that's one I can get on, on board for. That's a nice one. And a Jean Grey. Ooh. Do we have a numbered card here? Maybe. Widow. The black kind. Uh, Annihilus. And a Chromium card. Power Blast Thanos. Now, that's probably going to be a popular one. It's just an insert. Chromium card, but I like it. Captain America again with the red skull in the background. That's cool. Very nice. And our last pack magic. Only one numbered card in this box. Kind of don't like that. You know. Aside from getting a uh, case hit, allegedly. Yeah, not. I don't know if I like that. Spider Woman, that's pretty tough. Hulkling, that's a soft corner there. Canonical Blast is gonna be an Ice Man. See, I used to like Ice Man a lot growing up, and then I found out his weakness is Summer. So then I was like, I can't like him. He's like kind of lame. Beyonder, on the last card there. Yeah, I can't. I can't be a fan of someone whose weakness is summer. Like, literally, I'm weak to summer. It's hot. It's hot right now. So, yeah. can't That can't happen. No. Nah, nah. So, this is going to be supposedly one of the case hits. Is, um... Iridescence. Of course. What are the odds on that? Iridescence. Please be actually good. One out of... 24 packs. So, one in every two boxes, there's going to be a iridescence. Not that hard to hit. And then the badge flare. That's going to be one in every, I guess, supposedly, says here, 36 packs. So I guess it te we technically did well. But at the same time, each case has 12 boxes. Or 15, no, 12 boxes in a case. So that means there should be like four, three or four of these. Six of these iridescence ones uh, in each case. So not that rare. Uh, numbered stuff, not rare at all. I don't know. I mean, we got one numbered card. So I don't know how I feel about that. Just the green goblin there. So I guess we did above average, but... Hard to tell with this type of product, but let me know what you guys think about it overall. I kind of like it. I like Cable. This patch is crazy. Let me know what you guys think, though. Maybe I'll have to rip another one. I feel like one isn't enough for something like this, but I, I had fun, and I think I got some stuff that I liked. So In the end, that's all that matters. So Let me know if you guys rip this product. Are you guys on the fence? Do you think you should rip it? I think it's uh, worth the money. I think the... Ceiling potential is there, but obviously if you don't like the cards and you're only ripping it for investment or profit, I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, you have to rip this product if you actually like the product. Um, otherwise, I'd say it's a pass. It's better than annual. I think it's better than most other Marvel products. I know that next month a Flare Marvel Just Wolverine is coming out, so... Uh, if you like just Wolverine, that's kind of a weird product. I think this is going to be better than that as well. Because uh, variety is much better. Ripping one person is kind of boring. 
So, uh, I'll leave it at that. I think these are also my favorite cards. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.